disappointed with the progress so far. And Wembley, fantastic on away soil. Two, fantastic on away soil. Two, superb counter-attacking goals. But at the moment, at the interval, it's Manchester nil, Wembley two. Yeah, great half by Wembley. Funny you say that. Two shots, two goals, but two mistakes as well for Manchester. And Wembley's done really well to uh, to get in front. Great half. I see. I can see a lot more coming from Manchester. So again, at the interval, 2-0 to Wembley. The second half interval will con con see, uh, proceed with uh, interviews with students and current staff here. We'll hand it over to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Are doing that, can't yeah. be doing it. That's what I've been told. Uh, yeah, you can tell. Have we got anyone for the women's game? Well, they're at the same time as the academy game, so it can't be, yeah. I don't know how it's going to work, because the you students who said that they were interested... Who's that? Uh, Carbon Hughes. Carbon Hughes. Carbon Hughes. So I'm here with Karen Hughes, uh, goalkeeper coach for Manchester Seconds. First off, how are we feeling about that first half? It wasn't a great half, was it? Uh, we started pretty well, to be fair. Got a, had a few good chances. Should have taken them, really, but that's what happens when you don't take your chances. They do, and then we find ourselves 2-0 down pretty quickly, and then hopefully we can have a better second half. Yeah, so what, what would you say you need to improve, and what do you think the game plan will be for that second half to win this game? Well, we kept them in into their half pretty, all half, really. They just got out twice and scored, so that was sums it up, really. But second half, just keep playing the ball on the floor, keep uh, passing it around, getting them out of their shape, find balls into Max in behind. Hopefully we can take our chances. Yeah, and I really hope you do do it as a Manchester student. Um, we can see the team there in the background. Um, how do you think they're feeling like morale-wise? Probably frustrated because we know we're better than that. And hopefully we can have a famous second half and a famous day down at Curzon and hopefully uh, a repeat of the, was it, 2005 Champions League final. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, all the best and uh, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. Right, I'll go find where the Wembley lot are.
Step back a bit. There we go. Names again. I'm really shit with names. Alex. Alex. Josh. Josh. Yeah. Uh, this is Josh, and then we've got Alex as well. He's the last second, but put the Josh. I'll start talking with Josh, and then I'll talk to Alex. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Cool. Where's, where's Jordan? I need a photo. <laughs> Jordan. He's in the chat. Jordan. Got him. Yes. Big big day for me. <laughs> big day. Look at these buttons. I'm buttons. That Vicks on your shirt. It is. Lots of Vicks. <laughs> so I can breathe. Looking like the era. I don't know. I went up north. You know, I went to Bolton the other week. The I've interview been... ain't started yet. It's right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but I went Ready? to Bolton the other week. Here we go. I'll sit with life. Yeah. So I'm here with Josh, yep. the assistant manager and goalkeeper coach. Uh, good strong start for your first half. How how do you feel it's going? Um, yeah, it's been going to plan. We've been playing the way that we've set out to play. Um, the boys have been doing really well, seeing that they haven't had long to adjust. Some of them haven't had long to adjust to the new system. Um, but I think they've really got their head down and they've just been digging deep. So really pleased with how the first half went. Yeah, and uh, obviously there's another half to go. Um, are you going to change things up, keep things the same, or what, what's the plan? The uh, plan is just to keep going how we're doing. Um, they know what their roles are. They know what they have to do. The subs know that when they come on, they're playing a certain role. They've got a certain job to do. So the aim is really just keep it as it's going. And if we have to, we'll change things up. Yeah. Brilliant. And I've got Alex. The I'm just going to move over here. Um, you're the captain, yes. correct? Um, so how do you think the lads are feeling right now? Um, Obviously, 2-0 up. I think it was a little bit of a shaky start first time. I think the early goal helped. Harry did excellent to finish that. I think we grew in a lot more. It's sort of near the end it was a little bit shaky but in terms of that middle part of the key part i think we were absolutely on top and i think the boys are all settled now the first goal was huge so yeah that first goal um definitely came as a surprise yeah. to me the way it played didn't look like it and then it seemed you took a bit of control and got that second goal so continue on for you guys yeah 100 percent. carry on as we were obviously start settling into the game which was um fantastic but this, again, first goal was completely out of the run and play, but it helped us significantly. As you said, we took control, started settling on the ball, and it was a lot better, and we found our rhythm. So as it's been a couple of weeks then the system, and I think we're doing fantastic so far. Well, yeah, thank you very much. Um, good luck with the rest of the game, and enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, thank you. Do you know what time the women's stream does start? Okay. Okay, I'll try and find that out.
back live here in the second half uh, Manchester looking to overturn a 2-0 deficit uh, no goals as yet just a change for Manchester at the back with Jack Cleary coming on at centre half looking to get back into the game and regain some control some momentum for Manchester in this varsity event as we tick down towards the start of the second game which will be the men's academy match which kicks off at two 
Manchester pick up a free kick on the edge of their, their half. Looking to whip this one probably long into deep into Wembley half and build some pressure. Jay, what are your thoughts? Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, sorry, I was just getting some food. Um, Phil's got to be careful there. He's on the yellow there. Made a little bit of a silly tackle. So, he's probably, probably got a little name against his... Um, little card against his name there so we have to be careful but hopefully we can sit in soak it up a bit and like we did in the first half really take the game to to manchester build on the attack great great play from the eight well done great header from great header from seamus drake well cleared when on the break can when joe's in it oh the lino's put his flag up Yeah, nice play from Wembley there, but the striker just straying into an offside position given by the liner. Jay's just stepped away to have his dinner. Manchester just need to put some passes together and build some momentum, get themselves in the foothold in this game. They've never really had control. Wembley are happy for Manchester just to pass the ball around and then hit them on the counter. Manchester just need that little bit more cutting edge in the final third to create a couple of chances. Battling over the far side. Nothing given from the referee. As Man the ball goes out for Manchester throwing. This game could become a little bit heated as the uh, game goes into the second half. Manchester just working their way down the line slowly. Making yards, creeping closer to the Wembley final third. And hopefully creating an opportunity to get back into the game. No real chances yet for Manchester in this game. Need something more from their forward players just to get themselves back into it. Wembley just happy to sit deep and then look to counter. Probably dominating the, the middle of the pitch. And that's where this game is being won at the moment. What, what's your assessment of it, Jake? Well, firstly, that burg was absolutely lovely. It's a fair play to the catering staff in the uh, in the snack bar at Curzon Ashton. So thank you for that. Oh, as a as a foul there, no advantage. Free kick on the edge of the box for Manchester. Really silly attempt to get the ball there from the uh, centre half for Wembley. Manchester will be taking a free kick just by the 18 yard box. The referee's just marking out the wall. No card has been given to a Wembley player for the tackle. I think it was a genuine attempt for the ball, but the Manchester player got there just before her. Actually, he is actually, yeah, he's putting he's putting uh, Wembley uh, Seamus Drake into the book. My mum is watching, so hello, Wendy Welsh, my mother. I love you so much. The referee is now walking out the wall. Wembley keeper is making sure that wall does his job. Directing the uh, the wall where to stand. Sun has come out. Huge opportunity, this, for Manchester to get back into the game. They really need a goal. So let's see if they can put this in the uh, back of the net. He takes up. Over the wall, oh, and it's over the bar. It has taken a slight deflection from the wall, and it's now a Manchester corner. Finley will be taking the corner. Finley now swings in right foot. It's taken ahead. Will's headed it. Oh, and the ball's go. Oh, it's handball. It's how I think the Lino has given a penalty for handball. Manchester. Slight confusion. Must be a red card if he's giving that for handball on the goal line. None of that, thanks, Mike. <laughs> the referee has gone to the Lino. It is a penalty. Will the referee be getting any cards out? Yeah, if you can work out it was. I don't think it was the denying a goal scoring opportunity.
number nine for Manchester, is asking for a card from the lino. But the referee is now speaking to the Wembley players. Wembley goalkeeper is holding on to the ball, playing a bit of mind games. I think he's trying to work it. I think the referee's trying to work out who it was that handled the ball on the line there. I think if he can work it out, it sh possibly will brandish a card, but we will see what happens. Looks like it's just going to be a penalty. It is. It's just a penalty for Manchester, but a great opportunity for them to get back into this. Looks like Elliot Barrett is stepping up, probably Manchester's best player so far in the game. Let's see if he can stick this one back in the back of the net. And then we've got a very interesting finish. Been really impressed with uh, Barrett. First half, great left foot. Wembley keeper. Will Barrett takes it. Yeah. Drive and goal. Manchester score. I think the goalkeeper got a hand to that. He might be a little bit disappointed not to keep it out. But 2-1, here we go. Fantastic end to this game. Great start for Manchester in the second half. Manchester 1, Wembley 2. Wembley really needs to pick it up now. Can't let the crowd, nor the Manchester team, get in their heads. And it's game on. High press from Wembley. Uh, Manchester deal with it. They go long to the striker. Nine. Oh, there's a slip from Wembley. Manchester are in. That's it. Manchester are in. Max are in. Great play to the fullback. Manchester got the ball in. Away. Oh, that would have been very harsh handball if the referee gave that. Great play from Manchester, though. Really knocking on the door of Wembley. Huge momentum swing here now, and that's exactly what Manchester needed. They've got that foothold in the game, got Wembley on the ropes. They just need to take advantage whilst they are on top and get themselves back into the game. That one definitely would have been a dodgy penalty. I think the first one, I'd like to see it again, but I think the first one they have given, got right. Manchester with the throw, trying to get the ball into the box, which they do now. Can someone finish it? Oh, it goes all the way across the goal. And out for a throw in on the far side to Wembley and they can try and clear. Let's see if they're just as composed on the ball now as they were in the first half when they were fully in control of the game. Wembley looked nervous. They need to just settle down. Get back into the game. Get the ball out wide to their wide men. Really go out the fullbacks. But fair play to Manchester. They've turned up now. Players are, are at each other, saying to the referee about a few fouls. It's getting a bit heated now, isn't it, Mike? Just a little bit, yeah. I think they're going to start turning on the referee. Certainly Wembley, they'll feel a little hard done to with the disallowed goal in the first half and then penalty against them in the second whenever the big decisions don't go your way. Oh, Will, um, Joe, Joe waits in. Can he cross it to Harry? Oh, it's become a bit selfish. The ball's gone over. Unlucky. It's positive, though. It's real positive. That's the first real chance this, this half for Wembley. Great boy over the ball, um, over the top, sorry, of the fullback. Joe Waite, right foot, just over the bar. Manchester goal kick. And it's 10 minutes till kickoff to the men's academy fixture. That will be live streamed as well. There is a link that has been sent out to all students and staff. So please do tune into that fixture as well, where Christy will be commentating. Referees brought it back for a Wembley free kick. I think Zach was slightly late on the on the fullback. Wembley are just going to waste a bit of time, which may frustrate uh, Manchester, Mike. Yeah, you'll see... Uh... I think you'll start to see those uh, sportsmanship, gamemanship uh, creeping into creeping into this one now, just slowing it down. Certainly from Wembley, they need to just take the sting out of the game a little bit, slow Manchester's momentum, try and get back in control. That's a good ball in behind. Oh, fighting the linesman finally puts up her flag, giving the offside, but there was two or three Wembley players there. 
one of them could have been onside. Hard to tell from here, but it's been given as an offside. Another one that's gone against Wembley, just to add to their frustrations in this game so far. As uh, Connor Monday look, will look to take this free kick. Wembley are making a change from the looks of it. Are they? No, just a quick discussion. And uh, no, no, I think number nine has come off. Uh, yeah, strange decision there. Maybe Joe might have played last night. Heavy legs. But yeah, Cameron Shelley, Jordan has made the uh, made the substitution. I think Seamus has moved up front. Oh, Manchester has put a, a sneaky ball in the box there. No one's gotten the end of it. The wingers now got the ball. Manchester. That's a foul. Foul Wembley there. For now for for Manchester knocking on them. TJ Wembley keeper is about to kick it. We're going to go long to Seamus. Yeah, great header from the Manchester midfielder. Phil there, a little bit lazy with his defending. You've got Zach there on the ball. Great, great cross. Ball's gone in the box. Ah, oh, another great opportunity for Manchester there. Great ball in the box there. Really dominating now, Manchester. Really getting hold of the ball. Good press by Wembley. Squeezing Manchester back. Barrett on the ball. Really great game, Barrett. Had a really, I'm really impressed with him. That's a Wembley throw from the far end. Wembley really is taking the sting out of the game now. Referee just hurrying them up. Oh, I think the Wembley player took too many yards there on the throw. Referee's pulled him back and now he's giving Manchester a, a throw in. Barrett will take the throw. Barrett throws it down the line. They get it from Wembley. Can they get the seconds? Wembley's got, uh, Manchester's got the seconds. They enter the box. Can Manchester score? It's gone through and goal. Oh, oh, great tackle. And it is a, uh, a Wembley goal kick. It's a great attack there from Manchester. It's not quite falling from, is it, Mike? No, that was a great opportunity, but Wembley just got enough bodies back. Superb last ditch tackle just to thwart Max from putting that one in. Um, again, another potential penalty shout in there. I think it was Danny running through. Just got squeezed out, but it broke to Max and he just couldn't finish that one because of a fantastic tackle as Wembley looked to create a chance for themselves going forward. But Manchester with Jack bit and play it up. And again, end-to-end -end football now. We could be in. We are. Max is in. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Tries to take it round. He slots it past him and it's a goal. It's 2-2. Superb football from Manchester. Back in the game. Back at 2-2, full ascendancy with Manchester. All the momentum going with us. And can we keep it going and try and get that winner in the final... in the final stages of this game? There's five minutes until the Manchester game kicks off. Manchester back in it at 2-2. The changes, changes at half-time have really helped Manchester get back into this game. And uh, Wembley need to do something quick, I think, to stem the flow here. It's a great finish by Manchester. They've gone 2-2. Two, two. Pretty lazy from, from Wembley there. They're not clearing their lines. Manchester gets in. As I say, it's now it's 2-2. Two, two. A few subs from, uh, from Wembley now. Wembley really need to settle their nerves. Get back into the game. But well done, Manchester. Coming back into the game, knocking on the door. They've been threatening. It's well-deserved, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, definitely. I said at the start of the second half, Wembley controlled the middle of the park. But since then, they've uh, really lost that shape, lost that control, the composure they had on the ball. Manchester are now the first to the ball, first to pick it up, quick to close down. And Wembley haven't yet found any answers to that. The half-time team talk has really done its job for Manchester. Got them back into the game, but Wembley come forward. Looking for that spark, looking for to get themselves back into the game. 
obviously it's only 2-2, but all the momentum with Manchester this game, get a foothold in it, just start to control it as they come forward onto the edge of the Manchester box position. Do Wembley have any uh, free kick specialists? No, because I'm not on the pitch. <laughs> Start getting back into the game. Manchester's done so well. That team talk by the, the Manchester coaching staff really worked. There'll be a few wanting to take this. Manchester goalkeeper. Wanna gets his wall in place. Twenty twenty five yards out. Referee just counting out the steps. Keeper, Manchester keeper, shouting out demands. Real good opportunity for, for Wembley to try and get back into the game. Go back into the lead. Oh, the wall's done its job. Oh, great tackle by Barrett there. Fully committed there. Oh, Wembley's that's unlucky that. Wembley went out wide. Unfortunately, player was offside. Linesman gave it. The men's academy will be kicking off. In the next two, three minutes, please use the links to click on and view their match. Make sure you stay tuned on this fixture as well. As it is Manchester 2, Wembley 2. Really exciting start to Varsity. Wembley winning it last year. Can Manchester turn it around? This game here, they've really turned it around at this game. 2-0 down now, 2-2. Good defending by Wembley. Manchester just has a throw right next to us. Good tackle by Phil. Oh, referee's played advantage. Can Wembley break? No advantage. Referee pulls it back. The academy fixture will be taking place on the Kurgan Ashton main pitch in the, in a matter of two minutes. Good luck to James. Good luck to James and Kev. The staff members at UCFB who do run the academies. It's now a little bit of a water break as a Wembley player has gone down. Both sides have been given the opportunity to talk to both managers. Hopefully Wembley player is fine to, to, to continue. Hopefully the Wembley uh, player is back fit. Both teams are coming onto the pitch now, ready. We're going to go back and restart the game with a Wembley free kick. I've, we've been joined by Jamie, who is the Women's Academy Manager. Jamie, um, what's your thoughts for your fixture at three o'clock today? Yeah, no, um, I think it'll be a good game. We're coming off the back of a good win um, against UWL, where we won 23-0. So 
I think the girls are high on confidence and um, look, we've got a competitive squad out today and there's no reason we can't make it back-to-back -back varsity wins against Manchester. And Jamie, how does it feel being part of two uh, varsities? I know last year you was part of the men's, but this year part of the women's. Yeah, no, look, I think they're great experiences. I know, obviously, the staff at UCFB do a lot to make sure that they work. I know Jay's been a massive help this year in making sure transport's sorted, making sure that we've got a good ground, a great venue to play. So, yeah, no, great events, and um, and the players will love it. Here, Jamie, here's free quid for you. Thanks <laughs> for the mention. Good luck to you, Jamie. Thank you very much. And the players... If you're tuning into the Academy game, you can watch all three games together on the YouTube links. And the men's Academy game is about to start with a, a this game. We've got a Manchester break here, just cleared up by a Wembley defender. It's starting to get a little bit messy now. Oh, it's great defending. I just got a throw just by us. Manchester playing really quick. Football, great pattern of play as well. Ball goes down the line. That's a Wembley throw. Weather's kicked on a bit as well, a bit windy. Is it straight to penalties, Mike, if it's a draw? Yeah, it'll be straight to penalties uh, to decide the winner. And, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how both teams go into the final stages of this game with that in the back of their mind. Do they bring on their penalty takers? Do, or do they go for the win before the end of the 90 minutes? Silly foul there, given away by Manchester. Gives Wembley the free kick and they've played it quick. Going forward, Wembley are trying to break down the lines. And get the ball forward. The academy game has just kicked off. We'll be keeping a close eye on that fixture. But if you're staying tuned with us, it's still Wembley, uh, Manchester 2, Wembley 2 as well. I do feel there's another goal in this game, don't you, Mike? Yeah, definitely. I think as both teams will push forward for that winner. As Wembley are in, they are in. Can number 12 get there? He does. He keeps the ball in. What options has he got in the middle? He tries to square it and it's cleared by Manchester. Can Manchester get straight up the other end on the break? Battling on the halfway stage. Oh, superb tackle just to stop Manchester from breaking through. As Wembley starting to build that momentum again, get themselves back into the game. At a crucial time in this game. The Wembley just seem to be coming back into it. Those changes, fresh legs onto the pitch. Just seems to be getting them back into it as Max brings the ball forward. Skips past one, skips past two. Entering into the final third. Can he make something happen for Manchester? He tries to thread the ball through, but it's well defended. Wembley now bringing the ball back forward onto the halfway. Manchester have got a player down. Wembley still coming forward with the ball out wide on the left. game just slowly grinding down coming a bit slower now after that frantic sort of 10-15 minutes I think both players both teams just need a bit of a breather just to get back into the game as Finlay Knoll has just gone down with a slight injury on the halfway is it a bit of cramp looks like it might be I think there might be a few players there uh, in that position now going to get towards the end of this game yeah, Cramp's the real winner at the minute. Really taking over. Another another Manchester player down for Cramp. Get more salt in the, in the body. This will just be uh, music to Wembley's ears, really. Seeing the Manchester players going down, they'll know they've got the fitness, or appearing to have the better fitness into this final stage. They'll look to take advantage of that. As Lee plays the throw down the line, well won by Wembley. And again, as the ball breaks forward, good turn. Bounces well for Wembley. Nice for them. Get the enter into the penalty box at the far right hand side. Trying to take on Barrett, who's been solid at the back for Manchester. And there you go again, yet again, stepping in, winning the ball and playing it down the line. Superb from Elliot Barrett at left back. As Manchester look to build. 
Can they come forward? Big gaps in the middle of the pitch now for both teams to try and exploit. But Finlay just plays that ball too heavily over the top and the goalkeeper comes out and gets it. Wembley now with their turn in this basketball-style match. Just attacking both teams, looking for that winner. Attack against defence, going from one end to the other. Not much in the middle now. There's just big gaps for both teams to try to make take advantage of. As it's gone out for a Wembley throw, just inside the Man Manchester half on the left-hand side. The game just slowing down slightly. Wembley slowing it down again as they look to build into an attack. Max wins the ball, clips it forward. But Wembley continue to power through. It's going to be a Manchester throw at their right-back position. Yeah, really impressive, Barrett. If this was fantasy football, we'd definitely get the bonus points. Do we give the man of the match? Are we allowed to do those commentators? <laughs> It could well be down to me and Mike. Mike killed for, for Manchester and Jay Wells for Wembley. Deciding man of the match. It was definitely a Wembley person for me, though. It's getting a bit of a scrap now. Wembley still got it. They're going to break through. Oh, it's going to drive. That's a great tackle. Manchester number eight. Now Barrett's pass is through. Oh, his pass hasn't just quite got there. As Mike said, it's a proper basketball style game. Wembley need to keep hold of the ball. It's giving the ball away. Fitness will take a massive, will be the massive part of this game. Heading into the last 20 minutes. Wembley keeper got the ball. Pays it out to the defender. It's going either going to be a mistake or an absolute weldy to break this game. Who's gone down the line? Oh. Just checking on the academy game. Now it kicked off at two o'clock at Curzon Ashton between the, the men's Manchester Academy and, and Wembley's Manchester Academy, and it's still nil nil. We've just asked the Lino how long's left. He's, he's had 14, maybe a little bit more extra added on. Great battling. There's a great battle going out. When he just on top. Dan and his team from Manchester has been there. Has done great this second half. His team talks really worked in the training room. What he said to his players and his team, what, what his team said to the players has really worked. Ball goes in from Wembley. Oh, centre half's got it. Oh, well defended by Manchester. And it's a corner for Wembley. The last few corners Wembley have has caused a threat. It's a Wembley corner. Ball comes in. Ah, pretty poor ball there. Thrown from Wembley to Sheps. Oh, great skill, but a 10. Samuels crossing it. It's a great ball. Oh, it's an own goal. Wembley have scored. Wembley have scored. Own goal from Jack. So unfortunate for the Manchester defender. What you doing? Press goal. Press goal, Wembley. And Wembley is taking the lead, 3-2. Great ball by Samuel Gert. A ball that no defender would want to defend. Jack's got his hands in his head. Mike. Yeah, superb ball across there. Just in, in between the goalkeeper and the defence, it's the hardest ball to defend, he really fired it in at pace and Jack unfortunately just trying to get something on it, he had to try and win it, he had to try and get there unfortunately turned it past Connor uh, made it 3-2, 
we Jay said that he felt that the goal was coming. And always, you know, last 14, 15 minutes of a game, you look for that final chance. And Wembley have got it. Now can they just hang on? I think Manchester are going to throw everything at them. A bit more long ball tactic, try and get get the ball forward. Can Wembley hold out? Said it, didn't I? It's either going to be a mistake or a weldy. Unfortunately, on Manchester's side, it's a mistake. And that's three mistakes. That's cost them three goals today. But to be fair, Manchester has been the better side this second half. Got a free kick taken by the Manchester goalkeeper. He goes long. Good defending from Wembley. Ball's coming out. Oh, we've got Manchester down the wing. Oh, it's a great touch. Oh, Sheps has done really well to get it there. Ball goes back to the keeper for Manchester. It's going to go long. Oh, the wind's not helped. He's held the ball right up. Oh, great touch by Samuel Gurk. Oh, no silly fouls. We're getting to the last 10 minutes of the game. Got to start using game management. Both sets of coaches are desperate for this win. Oh, great feet. Great feet by Manchester. The attacker It's gone out wide. He's got the ball. Ah. Oh. Oh, the referee's pulled it back for a foul to Manchester. Late tackle by Wembley. Just looking at the academy scoreline. So far, it's nil-nil. I hear Wembley have hit the post in the academy game. The person next to me told me it. We've got Bob Ballard here who's travelled from Wembley. Bob, how do you see the game how fizzling out? Well, Jay, I, I wasn't as optimistic as you were for that third goal. I've got to say, the way Wembley had the lion's share of the first half. Second half has been pretty much all Manchester, but it's amazing how you know, a goal can transform a game. But again, Manchester have got all the possession and the pressure at the moment, and I'm a bit worried about the set pieces. Set pieces where they lo do look quite dangerous. As Bob said, Manchester has got a set piece on the edge of the right-hand side of the of the, of the box ball comes in great defending by Wembley he's flicked out ball's come out to Manchester wingers whips it back in oh keeper's done well to collect Bob can you see Wembley holding on I hope so um I still don't quite know where that third goal in the first half was cancelled but they're, they're, then they had to battle back it's amazing what a goal does though suddenly the head start to go down great changes made by Manchester at half time really did transform this game but I think I'm fairly optimistic that the pattern's starting to just change again. Maybe uh, UCFB Wembley will come out on top. Thank you to the voice of radio. Really appreciate it, Bob. Wembley getting a little bit of panic station at the back there. Manchester really putting on pressure. Mike, how do you see the next five minutes going? Well, momentum really is the biggest uh, thing in sport. If you've got it going with you, then it's your best friend. Uh, if it's going against you, then it's your worst enemy. And Manchester managed to get the momentum in that uh, start of the second half, got themselves back into it. But everything is now going Wembley's way. The momentum has swung yet again in Wembley's favour. And uh, Ashley Rebello is going to pick up a yellow card for a tackle here on the halfway. Just a little bit of frustration trying to stop the breakaway. Uh, I think there might be another little bit of a break here just as uh, some treatment comes on. Players get a bit more liquid on board. Final few tactics and words of encouragement from the coaches. But it looks like it's uh, all Wembley at the moment. They just need to try and take this, sting out of this game, just pass it around, take, keep the ball in play so there's no added on time. But just keep playing. Uh, we're having looks like we're having a couple of issues with the live stream for the academy game. It's just loading. That might just be my internet connection, but hopefully yours is working fine at the moment. And the referee is just having a chat with uh, the Wembley player and coach who's down at the moment, trying to get the game back on as quick as possible. Wembley obviously in no hurry to get the game restarted. Manchester just need to look for that one final chance, that one last opportunity just to get themselves back into the game. Great viewing numbers for the second team. 
fixture. Thank you for all those that tuned in. We've got a free kick taken by Phil. Uh, pumps it long. Poor ball cleared by Manchester. Wembley are still on the attack. He's not. Oh, yeah, he's offside. Yeah, I didn't see the uh, the fullback. Listen, we've got Joe here from Wembley. He's travelled up from the game. Um, really appreciate your support and for the for the team. Um, how's your experience going? Uh, it's going great so far. We travelled up yesterday, uh, me and the boy George here, and um, a couple of us. Um, really enjoying the game so far. I think uh, Wembley are unlucky uh, not to be more than uh, two up at half time, um, but Manchester have done well to get back into the game. Uh, but Wembley have managed the game well and uh, deserve to be uh, three two up in a moment. Brilliant, Joe. Thank you very much for your uh, commitment and thanks to George as well. OK, we've got five minutes left. We've got a uh, uh, Manchester throw here. Uh, Manchester fullback throws it into the to the striker. Great hold-up play there. Really strong. Keeper comes in claims. That's a great strong tackle by Manchester. Oh, Barrett goes in. Barrett's gone a bit strong. What's the ref going to do? It's a Wembley free kick. Barrett's been great. Ah. Oh. The coaching staff at Wembley is being booked. I believe it's Jordan. Too much to say to the referee, I believe. Yeah, he looked absolutely delighted that he got booked. Oh, there's another yellow card for Manchester 14. Jack Cleary. Oh, oh, 16, sorry. Might notice this player better. 14. Oh, sorry, they've got it wrong on the list. Do apologise. It is a, a Manchester yellow card as well as Man uh, a Wembley yellow card as well. We've got a big two, three minutes left here. Curgeon 3G pitch. A big three, a three minutes for both teams. Can Wembley hold on? Can Manchester score? Ball's gone out from a free kick for a goal kick to Manchester. I'm being told there's three minutes left. There may be stoppage time. Dire moments. Games management for both teams, really important. A lot of activity going on the, on the Manchester bench. Can Dan and his team come up with a plan to get back into the game? It's Manchester 2, Wembley 3. Ball's being held up by Sam. Samuel, sorry. Oh, it's great feet. Oh, it's going to be a Manchester throw. Bit of confrontation going on. Argy Bargy's handbags. Referee's in a good position to deal with it. Well done, ref. It's going to be a Manchester throw. We're going to restart with a Manchester throw. What Wembley have done really well in the since taking the lead is just make the game scrappy, a very stop start. There'll be no flow to it. Manchester's struggled to get on the ball and create any opportunities. Very good game management that we keep talking about. Just every time the ball comes into play, Wembley are doing something, creating something, trying to get the ball out, slow the game down, not letting Manchester get any passage of play in. And Manchester just trying to feed off scraps, but they've got a free kick in a good position on the edge of the corner of the box. Just on the right-hand side, looking down the pitch from where we are. Elliot Barrett's coming across to take it with his left foot to whip it in. Can Manchester create an opportunity, create something, get one last chance to try and get themselves back level and take this game to penalties?
Need a little bit of inspiration here. Good delivery. Delivery has to be right. Has to be good. Has to give those attacking players of UCFB Manchester an opportunity to get in there. Put some pressure on this goalkeeper. Conor Mundy was wondering whether to come forward as the goalkeeper for Manchester, but he's been told he's been sent back. Here we go, Elliot Barrett with the delivery. Whips it in. It is going towards the back post. It's headed on. It's a goal. Oh, it's been given offside. It's been ruled out. Jack Cleary thought he'd made up for his earlier own goal, but he's been ruled out offside. Gone too early from the free kick. A bit too eager to get back onto it. And the linesman's given it offside. Finally, a refereeing decision that has gone Wembley's way. Yeah, really nervous there. What a ball by Barrett. What a ball. Really impressed with him today. Lano's helped us out there. He's put his flag up. Nervy moments for Wembley. The linesman won't be allowed back on Manchester campus after that decision. He's more than welcome to come for a beer down at Wembley, though. Ah, silly foul there from, from Wembley. Oh, it's a booking. Oh, he's been... Referee, has there been a red card? I don't know what the ref's given here. What's he going to do? I saw two yellows. It might have been a sim bin. I think it was a sim bin. He pointed towards the uh, dugout. So I think it was a sim bin. No, um... Okay. Well, there's only about two, three minutes left of the game. Wembley are down to 10 players. The referee may have sent the player off or sim binned. He's going back into his book. He's reaching out his back pocket. I think he's going to indicate to Jordan what he's actually given. That puts Wembley under pressure, but it's a great advantage for Manchester. Ball's going to restart with a Manchester free kick. Ball's going to be whipped in by Manchester. Right winger, I believe. Can't see. Bit shiny. Comes into the box. It's a great delivery. Can Wimby get rid of it? It's gone into the back. It's a cheap free kick given. Very soft. There is still time. The Manchester goalkeeper shouting to his players. There's time. Yes, there is. Wembley just have to try and keep hold of the ball now with 10 men going into the final few minutes. Just have to try and keep hold of the ball. If they allow Manchester to use that man advantage, then it could be costly. They're in the corner now, not looking to keep it down there. They want another goal. Conor Mundy comes out well, claims the ball. Manchester need to be quick, need to get that ball forward. Taking the time, Manchester, to bring it forward. Time is against them, though. They have to get the ball forward. Connor's allowed to keep bringing it forward. Now he plays it long. Can Wembley clear? It is won by Wembley, headed out. They've kept it in play. Really good defending. He's managed to get it up and over. It's coming over towards. Over our heads and out for a throw in just on halfway. For Manchester, can they get that ball into the box? Can they create one last opportunity? It's Lee with the throw in. Elliot Bout's come in, got himself on the ball. Can he put in another delivery? Create another opportunity. Chad playing it low. Wembley managed to defend and they're looking to play it out. Composure at the back, but now they've played it long, giving it back to Manchester. They go back to the goalkeeper in Connor, who is allowed to bring it forward again. A bit more urgency needed from Manchester. They have to get the ball up into the box. They play it long. It's won by Manchester. Max trying to create an opening, trying to create an opportunity. Still going. Needs to use his teammates. He doesn't, and he's lost it. And in the break, he's on for Wembley. Oh, hamstring's gone. Hamstring has gone. Ref, can we make a sub? 
Uh, it's an unfortunate scene to see Phil there, whether it's hopefully it's cramp and not a hamstring pull. We are going to be making a sub. Harry Nicholson has entered the pitch. Phil is currently down. Wembley need to start settling down, start finding those areas where they can hold up the play and waste a little bit of time. Manchester really trying to up the ante here. They want the game to be played quick, quickly. Referee's giving a drop ball. The referee is kind of losing control a little bit. Another sim bin. I'm not quite sure. What is going on? As far as you know, Wembley are down to nine. They're clearing their lines well. Manchester are press, putting on pressure. Wembley really needs to sit in here. Ball goes in the box for Manchester. Big header from Wembley. Manchester pick up the seconds, plays it out wide, ball goes in the box, and it's gone out for a Wembley goal kick. Worrying times for Wembley, a lot of pressure from Manchester, not quite got the quality just to finish it. But Wembley are in control, Wembley are winning 3-2. Manchester's done so well this half, really impressed. Dan and his team has done great. Oh, a bit of hesitation there from the keeper and the defender. Oh, silly foul there from Manchester. Wembley and offside. Lionel's no, she's put her flag down. I don't think the referee went with it. A little bit of lack of confidence from the referee. Player is down from Wembley. It's going to be a Manchester goal kick. Both teams really going at it. Yeah, like Mike said, it's not going to go far in the wind. It's going to hold up. We must be into seconds. Into this game, Wembley kick it long. Manchester needs to deal with a bounce. No silly fouls. No silly fouls. Oh, big tackle from Wembley. It's a Manchester throw. They really need to get this ball in the box. Uh, ball's gone out for a Wembley throw. The clock must be ticking down. What a game we've had, our first game in the Varsity event we've got held here at UCFB Manchester against UCFB Wembley. Two teams really batting it out. We've got the academy game going on at the minute. Still nil-nil at three o'clock. We've got the women's fixture as well. What a great day ahead we've got here at Curzon Ashton. Manchester defender carries it. He's going to kick it long. Ball goes wide. It's a great ball. Good chest. Can he get a shot off? Oh, ball goes over. And it's going to be a Wembley goal kick. I think we're nearly there. What a game we've had, haven't we, Mike? Yeah, it's been superb. I think that's probably the last chance for Manchester. Just snatching at it there in the final few minutes. Rather than looking to build, create a better opening, just lashing at it. Wembley with nine men, just clinging on, defending, not really getting out of their own half. But you can't blame them with nine men. They've done what they've needed to do. They've played really, really well, travelling all this way. They got off to a fast start. That's really paid off for them in this second half. As Wembley have a free kick that they're not going to rush to take, just on the halfway line. Manchester desperate to get the game back on. 
get the ball back in play and try and create another opening. But it's all Wembley at the moment with them 3-2 up. And there you go, full-time whistle goes. Wembley go 1-0 up in Varsity, winning the first game 3-2. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll hopefully bring you some post-match interviews in a few minutes. But well done to Wembley, superb. It's advantage, Wembley. What a game we had here. First Varsity fixture finished Manchester 2 Wembley free in the men's football second fixture. Was it deserved? Maybe not, but Wembley got there. I think it was deserved. It was deserved, apparently. I think it was deserved. I think, other than Elliot Barrett as left back for Manchester, I think Wembley controlled the game. Certainly in the first half, Wembley could have been three or four nil up. Manchester, you know, would have been lucky if happy going in 2-0 down. They managed to pull it back to 2-2 and had all the momentum going their way, had the momentum, but they just couldn't get that final killer blow to get themselves in front. They allowed the game just to creep back into Wembley's hands. The momentum shifted again. The momentum shifted again. And they managed to get that all-important goal just within the last 15 minutes of the game and then managed to see it out. Game became a little bit scrappy, a few disciplinary issues from Wembley side getting simbined. Referee started to lose control of it a little bit, but Wembley managed to just hold on for that victory, going winning it 3 2, going 1 0 up on the day in Varsity. Two more games to come. Come on, Manchester. We are just trying to get a couple of interviews for you, so just hang on to the link before you jump over to the other matches. We are just sending out to try and get a couple of post-match interviews just to get some player and coach for his feedback on that game that Wembley have won 3-2. The women's team are warming up now. Their live stream will be available at 3 o'clock. Head over to that link, and you've got the men's, Manchester, uh, the men's academy match taking place right now. I believe it's still nil-nil, but I don't have the link up and running at my end to be able to see that. Hopefully, Manchester can win that one, bring it back to 1-1, one, one, and then going into the final decider with the women's game. Looks like we're going to have a couple of interviews from Manchester campus. We've got Elliot Barrett, the star man. Uh, Dan Machin, the manager, coming over. Get their thoughts on the game and how it panned out. Hand you over to Cameron now to conduct the interviews. I'm just stand here. Here? Yeah. yeah. Do I look all right? Yeah, you look great. Uh, me, myself, and the officials. Uh, no, I'm alright. I'm going to have to start next season if we're going to do that.
When that play went down, we cramped. Yeah. Oh, we actually was. Yeah. We did it first off. As soon as they went back in the, the ball, where they play. Oh, we can't even play as soon as uh, they Sorry, um, second manager, Dan, sorry, Dan, what's his surname? Machin. Machin. M A C H I N. Hello, start off. Even though they didn't get out their half, we were struggling him. Put the possession without actually getting forward. Uh, oh, C H I N. No, they didn't. No. But it was, they just allowed us to like, put that and pressure on. And then Elliot Barrett, up, that then, Elliot yeah, Barrett player. Like, how many R's and how many T's in your last name? Two R's, two T's. Two okay. L's, two T's. Two T's on Elliot. Ooh. Uh, the battery's dead, but... Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, two, uh, two, two, I'll, I'll just go there. We're going to straight... Can you just stand to the yeah, side for me until we're ready? Tell you what, Al. Yes, we're good. Um, Move me! Can you do... Can you grab my jumper and coat? Can you give this guy your name? So he can get grass. That's So I'm here with Dan Machin, the second team manager. Um, unfortunately for you, it didn't go your way, losing 3-2. Um, just give us a bit of a rundown of how you felt after that game. I just feel a bit disappointed with it, but I think positives from it that we got ourselves back in it. We had a bit of a chat at half-time and uh, during a bit of the first half that at 2-0 we're still in the game and we've been in that position before. We've brought games back. Um, scored one, everyone disallowed. Um, it's probably a bit of a shame we couldn't put any of them away in the first half as well, I think. Yeah, and you mentioned that you knew you could get back into that game and it really did seem like it until that third goal went in. Um, do you th What do you think went wrong to let that happen? Uh, I wouldn't point it at one thing, to be quite honest. I think we're obviously going for, we believe we can go and win the game. Um, and that's sometimes that's just the way it goes. I don't think you can pin it on one thing. I wouldn't pin it on one person. Brilliant. And I'm here with Elliot, who scored that first goal to try and get you back into the game. It was a great pen. Um, obviously, just give us your thoughts quickly over how you think it went. Yeah, I thought we could have played a bit better towards the end because um, we went 2-2 two -two and then we kind of slowed down and let them get back into it. I think when their player went down with cramp, it was probably the best thing for them because we were on top, we were all guns blazing, and then it just slowed the game down, and that suited them. They were very good on the ball, to be fair to them. Yeah, and you mentioned that bit of a loss of momentum. You obviously picked that up in the second half. What was said to get you going for that second half to come out so strong and get them goals? I think it was just the thought of losing to the team. Like, Wembley, Manchester, I think, we let ourselves down in the first half, a few mistakes. And so the only thing that could get better was the whole game. We could only get better. We couldn't get any worse. So that's what we did. We didn't have to say anything to you guys, really, other than just a bit of encouragement. Yeah. Well, unfortunate for you guys. Um, but we will come back next year stronger, I'm sure. Well, you won't and you won't either. But as a team, they'll come back stronger. Um, commiserations. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, though. Um, go and support the academy that are playing now and the women's afterwards. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So you second manager? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, just say second manager. Okay. So I'm here with uh, the Wembley manager and player. Uh, I'm going to start with Cameron. You won 3 2. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty delighted after that. Uh, it was a really competitive game and we knew it would be coming in here. Um, but just overall delighted uh, with the way that the game went and the end result, really. I thought every player put in a 10 out of 10 performance. and really gave 110% as well, especially in the last five minutes when we're down 9 v 11. Um, the boys really dug in and I couldn't be prouder today. Yeah, you mentioned that 9 v 11. Obviously, 
you never want that to happen. But you said how the boys dug in. Do you think that's a, a quality of this team that they can really band together and keep going? Yeah, we've seen all season, um, obviously, with it being a, a slightly mixed squad today, we've seen all season the quality of the players, but sometimes it's been their attitudes and their mentalities that slow them down. But we knew today we had a good squad, um, and if they could get it right mentally, then we'd be able to, to do over any team. Uh, and thankfully, they got it right. It got tough. Um, the boys dealt with the momentum of the game. Um, when it was going well, they got their heads down and dug in. Um, and like I said, they they. A hundred percent deserved of the result. Brilliant, thank you. I'm here with Phil. Uh, how do you think the game went? Obviously, as a player, you have a different perspective to a manager. What do you think was the, that factor that managed to make you win the game? So how it started off was uh, again they started off really well. Manchester coming out, and then once we grew into the game, the first ten minutes, once we got the foot on the ball, started going forward and. One thing this team has bags of is just the clinical side of us. And then once Harry got that one and then Joe, they just really played well off each other. And again, it's really nice to get an assist as well. But um, with us, we're the best of the best. That's why we're here. And I feel like the better team won as well. Commiserations to Manchester because they were a really good team and they're a really good kit as well, especially to the winger out here. who's very, very good. But again, the, the, the better team won. And again, I just feel like we really made, uh, done ourselves proud. Yeah, you really did well in that game. It was... It was a very good game to watch um, and it definitely went backwards and forwards. Um, but you managed to dig in and you managed to get that win. So I'd like to thank you um, and congratulate you on your win. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. And uh, Academy Games on now if you want to go over. If you're not, well, you might need to go to changing rooms, yeah. get, sort, get yourself sorted yeah, out, but get yourself over. And then the women's game after that. Um, yeah, it'll be really good. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.